Before my life changed forever for the positive, before I knew the Lord Jesus Christ in the biblical world and how much corruption and spiritual you know, wickedness is in the world, I used to watch The Daily Show, The Colbert Report, all of that stuff, right? I used to be very liberal about things. It's fine. People can sin, do this, that, and the other. I didn't realize that I was a sinner and that mattered. And I didn't realize how much sin was in the world and how much that matters. I thought Jon Stewart and his Daily Show cast were very funny, right? It's kind of like, I thought it was smart humor. It's about politics. Politics is just a, a mess. Left, right, Democrat, Republican, liberal, conservative, blah, blah, blah. It is two sides of the same coin. If you are a cow and you choose the left or the right, they both lead to the slaughterhouse. I've done videos on Jon Stewart and The Daily Show before. Like, I think it's important to show this. And also, I know there's repetition, but some people are new to the channel. And this is something that's personal to me because I used to look up to these people. I used to think they were funny. I used to idolize them. I have no idols on earth anymore. You know... My true idol, and that's not the proper word, my Lord, God, and Savior, the person I respect the most, is Lord Jesus Christ. Of course it is. To say what Jesus has done and who he is is important is the biggest understatement anyone could ever make. Jesus Christ and his death, burial, and resurrection, so important to life, eternal life, heaven. Without Jesus, it's hell being cut off from God, living in Satan's grotesque world, and I hate it. I know so many brothers and sisters, Christians on this channel and others in the, in the community, were so turned off by the world, were so repulsed by the world. Like, the shock and awe has worn off on me mostly, but I still have it at times because the magnitude and the scope of deception, how many people are sold out is what I'm saying. It's staggering. Do people not care about heaven, eternal life, forgiveness of sin? Do people truly not care about that and they want their best life now? Many people want fame, fortune, success, and sometimes not even that, and they sell out. They have quote-unquote sold their souls for rock and roll. Look at John Stewart's face here. Look at his eye looking into the camera. He is saying, I am a sold out person that's covering my eye, doing the eye of Horus in a fallen world. Surprise, we've been fooling you with quote unquote comedy and entertainment and art. So I opened the video like this because I want you to understand like, before Jesus, I was just like soaking up the life. I was like, right? I, I idolized Jon Stewart. I thought he was very smart and clever and funny and this and that. To say that I'm let down by him, I'm more than let down by him. I pray for this man's soul because fame, fortune, success, whatever, your liberal views, it is not worth eternity in hell. Eternity is a long time and it exists. Heaven and hell exist. Jesus exists. He's our Lord God and Savior. If you make him your Lord God and Savior, believing in his finished work on the cross, or you're a servant of Satan living in the fallen world, because most people are, and most people don't even realize it. That is scary. John Stewart is doing one-eye symbolism, the eye of Horus. I used to think Stephen Colbert was so funny. I really liked him a, a whole lot. He's hanging out with Meryl Streep. They're both doing the hidden hand of a Freemason. See how they're tucking their hands into their coats? This isn't nothing to ignore. This is something to research. Stephen Colbert or Meryl Streep, very big celebrities in the world, right? They're hiding their hands in their coats the way Freemasons do. John Oliver, right? He was on The Daily Show, and then he got his own show. Blowing up the big fake globe. Hey, John. Honestly, people, we do not live on this. If you research photo of Earth from space, 
that photo, quote unquote, is made by a man and a computer, NASA will admit this. You can go and research this. Will you research? Probably not. He's darkening one of his eyes utterly, doing one eye symbolism, the eye of Horus. Why? Because he's a sellout like the rest of the people I feature on this channel and on this video. Asif Manvi is another person from The Daily Show, a correspondent. He's doing the vow of silence. Is he keeping the secret of the biblical world about how fame, fortune, and success work, and most likely about Freemasonry? Because he also does the Uttara Bodhi Mudra with his hands. Index fingers together, other fingers interlaced. This gesture is supposed to represent supreme enlightenment, but it's the false light of Lucifer. The name Lucifer means light bearer. In Freemasonry, they seek light and more light, and yet even more light to move up in degrees. That is the false light of Lucifer. You can find this out if you research. Will you research? Probably not. Ed Helms, another person from The Daily Show, a correspondent, went on to movies and stuff, like the Hangover movies and that kind of garbage. He's doing the Uttara Bodhi Mudra with his hands, index fingers together, other fingers interlaced. He's doing the Uttara Bodhi Mudra with his hands here, index fingers together, pressed to his lips, other fingers interlaced. You can think this is nothing, but you'd be incorrect. Samantha B., another correspondent from The Daily Show that went on to other stuff. She's doing one-eye symbolism, using a spatula to darken one of her eyes utterly, doing one-eye symbolism, the eye of Horus. John Hodgman is another person, a correspondent from The Daily Show. He's throwing up the devil horns, probably just because he's rock and roll, right? Doesn't have anything to do with 666 or the devil or anything like that, right? In his social media, he makes a point of pointing out this check he has for $666. He was playing poker, and he makes a point of pointing this out, that the cards are 666. He's eating an omelette, and it's on a Freemason plate. The square in the compass and the G illuminated in the middle for Freemasonry. And John Hodgman does the Uttara Bodhi Mudra, the slam dunk version. The index fingers are pressed together, pressed against the lips. Other fingers are interlaced. How many times have I said that phrase? Why do I keep saying it? Because you need to recognize that this is satanic. Is this for Jesus Christ? You don't think so? By default, things that are not for Jesus Christ are against him. Wyatt Cenac, the same thing. Index fingers pressed to his lips, pressed together, other fingers interlaced, doing the Uttara Bodhi Mudra, U-T-T-A-R-A-B-O-D-H-I Mudra. A mudra is a hand gesture from yoga. Aleister Crowley wrote several books on yoga. He was a satanic Freemason as well. This is, this is clearly known. You don't need to be a conspiracy theorist or a, a truther to know that Aleister Crowley is satanic. It's like, it is so obvious that it's not funny. Wyatt Cenac, another daily show correspondent doing the Uttara Bodhi Mudra. I wonder if there's something to this. Steve Carell, he is doing the Uttara Bodhi Mudra. The same thing, pressing his fingers to his lips, other fingers are interlaced. He's doing it again here, the exact same thing. Do you remember this guy, Troy Iwa? Or As we Iwata? take pride on the progress we've made over these past years, there's still work to be done. So to those of you out there who are still working against equal rights, we have a message for you. You think we're sinful? He says, this is a message from the gay community. You know, the X, Y, L, M, P, 1, 2, 3, add the P, blah, 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 blah. He says, this, you think we're sinful? You fight against our rights. You say we all lead lives you can't respect. No, I do not have respect for your lifestyle. But you're just frightened. No, I'm not a homophobe. I'm not frightened of anything. Actually, that's not true. I am scared for this person and people like him because eternity in hell is not something I wish on my worst enemy. Why can't the world get that? That hell is real and it's not a party place. It's not just you go in the ground, lights out, don't need to worry. You will be in heaven or you will be in eternal torment in hell. This is real. 
I'd I would rather have people love me for telling them, or I'd rather have people hate me for telling them the truth than love me for blowing them kisses and having them live in lies. You think that we'll corrupt your kids if our agenda goes unchecked? Funny, just this once, you're correct. He says, you think we'll influence your kids, corrupt your kids? About that, you're correct. We'll convert your children. Okay, that's enough of that. We'll convert your children, right? Troy Awata, who is, let's see, where did I have it? The Daily Show signs up Josh Johnson, Troy Iwata, and Grace uh, Kulenschmidt as correspondents. So Troy Iwata, the man we just saw, singing about corrupting your children into their gay, sinful lifestyle that leads people to hell, that's a good thing, right? He is taking a bite out of the apple, like in the Garden of Eden, the original sin. Of course, he has the pride colors in the background, having pride of sin and abomination. That's what God calls it. I'm not being rude. God calls homosexuality, transgenderism, whatever that is, sin and abomination. Of course, he throws in the fake space stuff because we're totally out rocketing through space. Please research it already. And like we've seen how many times in this video, Troy Iwata, or Iwata, whatever, is also doing the Uttara Bodhi Mudra. Index fingers together, pressed against his lips, other fingers interlocked together, just like we saw all the other correspondents do, along with the one-eye symbolism and the Freemason hidden hands. Can you please figure this out already, that I'm telling you the truth? I'm not doing these videos in hate. I know about not understanding what I'm talking about. I have lived in the world, quote-unquote, before. I didn't read the Bible growing up. I didn't know Jesus growing up. My family wasn't religious at all, and my friends were definitely against religion. And when I mean against it, they were against it, right? I was in like punk rock and all that stuff. And like punk rock's kind of edgy and you know, you know what I mean, right? Like it's not going to be about Jesus Christ and salvation. No, it's about like fighting the government and being a rebel, I guess. I don't know. It's, it's so stupid. But we all grew up in the same world. And now I've realized, I've repented, and I still need to repent of more because I'm not a perfect person, and I hate it. I hate living in a sinful world. I hate that there's so much sin around every corner you look at. But my point of making this video is that yet another correspondent for The Daily Show is doing the Uttara Bodhi Mudra. If you don't understand what that is, I've explained. It's a gesture from yoga, and yoga is satanic. Believe it or not, research it. Aleister Crowley wrote several books on it, and he was a Freemason and a Satanist that did horrible things and wrote about them. And all these people do these sign symbols and agendas. The gay agenda is an agenda that's Antichrist. It's not for Christ. It's against him. So all these people do the same signs, symbols, and agendas. I'm not judging them unfairly. I am a Christian that's born again, pointing out the sinful world, pointing out the sold-out satanic world, run by Freemasons. Freemasons worship Lucifer the Lightbearer, who is Satan. You can research this and understand this for yourself, but most people don't want to because it's weird, and they're afraid of being called names like mentally ill or or a conspiracy theorist, or just un unright. No one wants to be wrong, right? Everyone wants to be right all the time. That's apparent for the YouTube comment section. But this is about your future in eternity. This is about heaven and hell. This is about a fallen world that I want to show you just how fallen it is. Is it sold out a little bit? Oh, it is sold out a lot. Brothers and sisters, everyone else, I do not do these videos in hate. I am not a violent person whatsoever. I want these people to, be, to have health care, water to drink, and food and shelter. I want these people to be taken care of. I don't want them to be harmed in any way. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shine light on what they do. They're signs, symbols, and agendas. Hoping that you, the viewer, will realize that, yeah, this stuff is Antichrist. This stuff is everywhere. This is how the world works. I need Jesus. I need to read the Bible more, to put on the full armor of God, to stand up for what is right. God bless you, everyone.